Bootstrap 4. How do I hide and show stuff without breaking my site? If you've used Bootstrap 3 in the past, you will be familiar with using the terms hidden. Or maybe you've even gone as far as using uh, the Bootstrap 4 Alpha and reading their documentation, where they use the terms visible. What's really annoying is that when they rolled over to a Bootstrap 4, the final version, they didn't use either of these. But currently the internet is completely flooded with documentation on using Bootstrap and even Bootstrap 4 Alpha using these ones here, which is a real pain in the ass. What you want to know is how to use Bootstrap to hide and show things using the new markup, which is this stuff here. We use something called D, which is the shorthand for display, not very intuitive when you first start using it. And then they use these extra extensions called Block and Flex. Now the difference between Block and Flex is basically breaking your site and not breaking your site. But in the simple possiblest way, let's look at how this new terminology works. Before we start, you should also know that if you are familiar with these, extra small has been abandoned as well. Instead of saying col extra small, they just say col from now on. And they only use col with sizing when referring to any size up from extra small with the new final bootstrap for. Let's have a quick look at the website that I'm using as an example. So what I've got here is uh, some primary news and some secondary news and some other news. It doesn't, it's just filling space for, uh, you know, the desktop. I don't want this other news to be displayed on small and extra small devices. So let's do that now. I've got a link which I have uh, shrunken for you and it takes you to this site here. This site here has this picture here at the top of the page, but scroll down and here we can use the magic of copying and pasting, which I really love. Now all you need to do is copy and paste the chunk that you need out. So if I want to make sure it's hidden only on small, I can copy this is small, hidden only on small. I'm going to copy that out. I'm going to go back and adjust my HTML. So here it is here, my three columns, and in here I'm going to add in this one here, which says display on small, nothing. But basically everything else after that, keep displaying it on. It also means, very unintuitively, um, display it on extra small. Let's just uh, save it up and have a look. So there it is, nice and visible. We shrink it up, we get to small, and it disappears. It's gone. But when we get to extra small, bam, that sucker is back. So what we're actually looking for is to make sure that it is uh, invisible on extra small, small, but visible on the larger ones. So let's just go back to our website. Now what's terrible at this, about this table is how it reads. It says here, hidden on smaller, uh, hidden on this value, plus anything smaller, which would make you think that it'd be hidden here and hidden on anything smaller. But this table's actually written really badly. What they're meaning to say is it's going to be hidden on this but the plus stands for, but it will show on anything smaller. So be careful uh, with how you read it. That plus sign means it will show on anything smaller. And so the what piece of code that we need is it's hidden on this value and will show on anything larger. So that confused the hell out of me when I started uh, stealing. I'm just going to copy that. Let's bang that into our code. So there we go, display none, and we will save that and display it. So it's showing here at large, shrinking down, and hopefully now it will disappear. It's gone and stay disappeared when it chunks down to extra small, which it has. So to summarize my first point, um, and this applies specifically to our uh, columns that we're putting in, that we've got a lovely table that we can use. Um, it's on this website here. And the link to this website is right here. Okay, so you can use that website to help resize everything that you need to, have it showing and hiding at different sizes, at small, medium, large, and extra large. But uh, what's the deal with the piece of code where it says, well, display D none means we'll display don't. But let's look at this idea of the block piece of code that we're copying in when it says block. And I'm just letting you know now that that applies to rows. Why? Well, let's have a look. I'm going to use the same piece of code 
and I'm going to take that, and this time, instead of trying to hide one of my columns, I'm going to try hide, hide an entire row. So first, let's look at how our page currently performs. What we've got here is we've got our news, and as we shrink it down, it does its business, shrinking down, and once it gets to small, it's uh, stacking. But we've made a, an executive decision that on the mobile, we don't actually need this next piece of news. We're just filling space for scrolling. Only the important news is going to appear for mobile users. So let's take the original piece of code that we used before and see the difference. So we'll take that and we'll stick it into our HTML. But this time I want to hide the entire row, not the single column. I'm going to paste that in there and save it. And according to this, it's going to display on medium and up. So let's uh, run a preview. So it's displaying on medium, but now the shape of my website has broken. We'll still keep testing it. Now it's there and it's working and it is, yep, it has totally disappeared at small and at extra small. It is also no longer there, but once we size it back up, it appears. But the problem is we've lost our original markup in the way that it originally looked, which was this nice layer here. So this is where what we want to do is we want to change the word from block to flex to maintain the properties that we have inside our row. So now that I've changed that and I'm hitting save, I can scroll down, go inspect, so it has maintained its layout this time. And as I shrink it down, it has indeed already disappeared. It's there and mobile users will lose it once it gets to that size and it continues to stay hidden. So that's pretty much it. What you need is access to this site. Be careful how you read it. Know that you have suffered that Block applies to, best to apply block to rows and use flex with columns if you want to keep that flexibility in there. Of course, there are always exceptions to the rule. Um, and let's just sum up by saying there is some confusion out there at the moment with uh, documentation. We have current documentation on the web where a lot of it is still discussing hidden and visible. And what we're actually using is this new markup here with uh, the display, block and flex. And we've also gotten rid of the extra small. Okay, well, I hope that was useful. Cheers.